Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today for part number four of our teaching devotion series called Ask Pastor Mark Anything About God. In this series, we answer questions students have given us about God, the Bible, and church. Well, before we get started with this week's questions, let me give you the verse for the week, which is 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. says, For even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So if you email us that scripture verse along with the keyword that I'm going to give you in just a minute during the teaching, we'll send you one of our weekly prize packs in the mail. So on to this week's student submitted questions. Question number one, who made the devil? Well, very simply, God created everything, so he also created the being that we now call the devil or Satan. In the past, before the fall of humanity, he was a good angel that God had created. So that's who made the devil. Question number two, was the devil always evil? Well, the answer to that question is no, the devil was not always evil. He actually started out good. He had a good beginning. In the beginning, the devil was an angel named Lucifer, which means light bearer. Some Bible teachers even believe he may have been a worship or music leader in heaven. We know that he originally started out, he was beautiful according to Ezekiel 28:15. Now, although angels are a different kind of being, they were created with a free will just like people. People have the ability to choose to do good and bad, and the angels have the same ability. And somewhere along the way, pride rose up in Lucifer. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 14 records Lucifer as having said, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the Most High. So somewhere along the way, he got the idea that he should be God, that he should be just like God. And of course, you and I know there is only one God and there is no one like him. So that pride caused Satan to lead a rebellion against the Lord. And by the way, that is your key word, pride. And one third of the angels followed him. They were actually kicked out of heaven. And today they work on a daily basis to try to bring misery to, to people and to your life and my life and to all of God's creation. Question number three. If God knows everything, why did he let the devil into heaven? What well, is true that God does know everything. We call that omniscient, all-knowing. And the devil was originally, of course, allowed in heaven because he was a created being before his rebellion and fall. Now, since that time when he was kicked out of heaven, uh, there's one time anyway in the scripture in Job chapter 1, we see Satan being allowed back into heaven and he's having a conversation with God about Job. So that's at least one time he's been back in heaven since then. Question number four. When God made everything, did he plan for Lucifer to be the devil? Well, originally, God created Lucifer good. He was a good angel. He was doing good things in the service of the kingdom of God. But just like human beings, the devil had a choice. He could choose to obey God and to stay faithful to God, or he could choose to go his own way and to disobey. Now, God knew that that was going to happen, but he did not make it happen. Because all human beings and all angels, just like Lucifer, were created with a free will. He created people and angels to love him and to desire to worship him. And there is no love without choice. You have to be able to choose to love. If someone is forced to love, then that's actually not love at all. Real love is the choice to do what is good or best for someone else, even if it's not necessarily best for you. If God had created us so that we had no choice but to love him, then actually we'd be nothing but robots programmed to say things and do things that we really had no choice or decision in doing, and that wouldn't be true love. Well, those are the four questions for this week, and I hope you'll join us next week for some more questions for Ask Pastor Mark Anything About God. In the meantime, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for who you are. Thank you that you are all-knowing, and your creation was good in the beginning. But Lord, because you've created us to love, there's always that choice. There's always that possibility that we could choose wrong. The devil chose wrong. But Lord, we pray and we ask you to help us to always choose right, to choose love, to choose what's best for others and best for your kingdom and glory and worship you the way that you deserve because you are truly amazing. In Jesus' name, everybody said... 